Hi dolls, it's Z and welcome to my digital diary. Good morning dolls! Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hey girl, hey, grab a seat. Thank you for visiting. We'd love to have you as part of the dollhouse if you want to go ahead and click the subscribe button below. But anyways, you guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm not entirely sure what this video is all about. I'm not 100% sure yet. I don't know if this is going to be like a productive vlog or just a week in my life. I'm not sure. I just decided to go ahead and pick up the camera because today is going to be quite busy. I have quite a few things to do. So I was like, might as well. I was going to film something else today. I had planned to do something completely different. I was going to do like a shop with me. But... My agent texted me late last night. I was at work because I had to close. And I saw the text, but I didn't read it. I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to have to get go home and do an audition. I can already tell. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so tired. I don't think I can make it. Because I had already spent all day yesterday filming and doing stuff. So I was just like, oh my God, I'm not going to make it. I'm so sleepy. My break, I looked at her text and pretty much I have an audition today. So well, it's due, it's not due until tomorrow, which is really good. But I can't do it tomorrow because I close tonight and then I'm going to open tomorrow. So I'm going to be exhausted. So to at, then do an audition after I get off of work no i'm gonna look a hot mess so i was like let me just knock it out and get it out of the way today and you'd also know that whenever i have like something to do for acting i like to just jump up and get it out of the way first thing in the morning like i haven't even i haven't eaten i haven't drunk in anything i literally rolled out of bed because i was so tired i'll post it up at seven pinky tried to wake me up at six i did not get up at six and I just ended up waking up at 9 o'clock because I was exhausted from working last night. I was like so tired. Um, so my goal is to, oh no, not a breakout. Oh, I hate that for myself. Um, my goal is to get this audition in before noon. That's my goal right now. I don't even know if I could tell you guys what the audition is for. They didn't have me sign an NDA. So I don't know if I'm allowed to say what I'm auditioning for. But pretty much, um, it's actually a very high profile show. It's the show called Dexter. I never watched that show. I tried to watch it once and it was just, I did not. I just felt like it was super non-realistic. And I noticed that ever since I started watching True Crime, the actual like crime TV, I just don't get into it. I feel like it's like cheesy. I'm not really familiar with the show. I'm also not familiar with the director. So I'm a little bit, a little bit like, anxious about that because I'm like I don't know this director I don't really know the show very well they didn't really give a lot of information outside of like the producer director their work dates they kept it really really tight in this scene I have I'm talking to Dexter and my character by the way is a that's pretty much all the information I have there's no backstory to my character there's no uh, backstory to what's going on. I don't know if he's gonna kill me because y'all know I believe that's the same show. I believe so. Y'all comment below but I believe Dexter is like a serial killer or something like that. I don't know you guys. I don't know. Um, like I said I don't know the show that very well. I actually don't have time. Most times I'll do my research and like look it up. Um, I really, I'm gonna look it up really quick before I do the audition but I really don't know like where we are in the series or anything like that so I this episode when I read it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me because I don't know the show but they didn't send me like the full episode so I don't know what's happening and I understand why it's a very high profile show so they probably really don't want to um put the details of the next episode out there like even for actors to know you know because a lot of people might be a fan of the show and might watch religiously so they probably didn't want you know me to know what the episode was about you know what I mean uh, which I totally understand I don't feel like I need to know what the episode is about to audition for it I just need to play the scene oh my god this is so ugly I can't and it's inflamed. I hate when it's inflamed because you can see it just looks so much bigger when it's inflamed. What is it, Mama? Okay, hold on, guys. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> and I'm also sorry about my froggy throat. 
you guys know when I get up in the morning I sound like a freaking frog and I hate the sound of it when I'm editing my videos like I was just editing um, my morning routine yesterday and I was just so annoyed with my voice I'm like why do I sound like a freaking frog anyways um, yeah I don't know much about the premise of this episode and I understand why they didn't send that to me so yeah I wanted to get up right away and just knock this audition out so I did I literally didn't even make myself a cup of tea I literally got up did Pinky's morning routine because y'all know she gets her stuff done first so I did Pinky's morning routine let her out fed her played with her and now I'm just like getting ready to go I started setting up the camera and everything immediately so yeah that's what we're doing today and also I have to take a Poshmark order I also need to take a return to home goods I also have a video that was supposed to go up yesterday but I didn't have time to edit it because I spent the whole day filming it and I need to go into work so I didn't finish it so I need to finish that and get that up today because what's the point of filming videos if I'm not gonna upload them oh I need to post my Instagram photo before noon so I really need to do this audition and get this audition knocked out because should I cover up my tattoo you know I'm not even gonna bother I filmed the vlog and actually I filmed two vlogs and I have them in the arsenal they're done they're ready to pose but I like don't like the way that they came out so I'm trying to decide if I want to post them or if I just want to scrap them I already know I feel like I just want to scrap them but I'm like Zuri this is why you don't have content to post not it's because you just keep scrapping everything if it doesn't come out perfect it's like okay I don't I'm not gonna post it like the LA Girl Pro concealer in classic and no toffee toffee and then I'm using the rare beauty foundation in a uh, 340c it's like a light coverage I like to mix that with my Mac studio fix foundation in NW40 and it makes like the perfect like my perfect shade those two mixed together quite a few little busy bot things to do I did end up applying for that job that I had told you guys about I the one where I was like, oh, I started the application, but I didn't finish it because I needed to write a whole essay or whatever. I wrote the essay last night. I finished it. It wasn't that bad, actually. When I sat down and looked at it, I was like, oh, oh, okay, okay. I can write this. It's really quick. It's not like a big deal. And I knocked it out last night, and I also applied to a few other jobs that I saw listed. And if you guys are wondering, in case you guys are also girlies, um, looking for work I use LinkedIn indeed and zip recruiter I know that there's like hundreds of platforms out there but I, I would really say just narrow it down because I was looking everywhere at one point and I noticed I kept coming across the same jobs over and over again and you don't want to double submit your application you know for the same job by the way I think I mentioned this already but bunny is on vacation in Canada right now and if you guys are new here you don't know Bunny's my ex-boyfriend and my roommate I actually still live with him um, so but he's in Canada right now and usually he's the one that reads with me for my auditions and he's not here so I'm gonna have to make shift this and figure it out but to be a hundred percent honest with you guys a lot of casting apps exist now so you can really book someone to read with you virtually from a casting app. You don't really have to have somebody physically there with you. So I might end up doing something like that. I don't really have time to like book out time in a studio, in a casting studio where they like film it for you because there are those that you can go to. I'm just telling you guys this information because I'm an actor and just in case you guys are interested in getting into acting, um, I feel like this type of information would, would have been good to know when I first started because I did not know. Um, but there are studios that you can book with which will film your audition for you like you they have readers and they have a whole cast and crew that will film your audition read with you edit it and send it to you like the whole nine yards sir you could do that just to save yourself the headache of doing it yourself but like me i'm gonna have to do all of it myself and edit it and send it in i think that's good for foundation i don't want to go too crazy anyways i'm excited to do this audition i think it's going to be 
a lot of fun. Again, read the script, or not the script, read my sides. It seems like fun. It's crazy because every time I start to think like, I'm just going to quit acting or give take a break from acting and focus on something else. Every single time I think that, an, like a sign will happen, like an audition will come through. And it's normally like a high profile audition. And then I'll be like, oh, baby, I shouldn't quit. <laughs> And y'all, I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. That's another thing that I'm kind of like stressing out about. Because I feel like this character would have curly hair. I don't know why. I just feel like she has curly hair. I do not feel like she has straight hair. But my hair, I already blow dried it out. It's already sh like straight. <coughs> well, semi-straight. And I don't want to like put products in it and curling cream and mousse and all that after I just washed it just for an audition because y'all know a lot of times these auditions don't go anywhere like I'll get an audition I'll get a call back they'll check my avail and then I won't book so I'm just like oh I don't want to do all of this like change my hair all the way back to curly for nothing I don't know maybe it did happen for a reason and my hair is supposed to be straight not curly y'all here's the overthinking things to be fair that's just kind of what it's like to be like a performer or an entertainer you're constantly second guessing you're constantly like oh is that the right oh no i don't know yeah yeah i'm gonna use this bh cosmetics palette and it's gonna be this like brown color at the top which is really close to my don't fall girl you balancing you got it <laughs> don't fall so I'm going to do that. It's really close to my skin tone, which for me is like perfect. It's just like a little bit more um, pinky undertones, but for the most part, it's like really close to my skin. I just don't understand why my I'm having so many issues with like breakouts. I have like one here and then I have this from my period and it just won't go away. What is this on my head? Chow. What is that? I have something on my head okay I gotta fix my forehead and then my eyes like puffy I don't know if you guys can see it I might just be picking myself apart but no it's puffy that I think is just from me being tired that's what I think that's from again we're back to the same question what the heck am I supposed to be doing with my hair should we just do it straight I just feel like this girl does not have straight hair she doesn't I have a funny feeling inside of my gut that this, hair, this character has curly hair. It doesn't say that she has curly hair. And I don't know if my agent submitted a headshot with my hair curly or straight. I have no effing clue. Oh, you know what else I need to do today? I need to do laundry. I have towels and stuff that has been sitting in the washer for days because I've just been on one i keep forgetting to show y'all i honestly don't understand how girls do get readings with me can somebody help me because i cannot talk while i'm getting ready like i need to be quiet and i need to have like either a video playing or music playing i cannot be talking it is so distracting this is the milk makeup lip and cheek color and it's in the color work i love this especially for auditions which is most of what I use it for it just gives you like a natural pigment it's not like too much like my other blushes are like girl this is like really really light and it's a cream blush which I'm not really used to using but I actually like this one I think I got it from Sephora but I love it look at how natural it just looks it just looks like i have color on my face okay so that's pretty much the look outside of some mascara we're gonna just put on some mascara oh ooh, ooh, y'all my nose is oh why is my nose itching oh and by the way the mascara that i am using is the blink lash extension tubing mascara i love this mascara um what color is it in i think it's just black yeah it's just black I got this in a Fat Fit Fun box and I'm obsessed with it. I actually ended up getting two of them. So I'm so happy about that. But yeah, I love this mascara. It is so good. I did not expect it to be this good. Y'all, I don't really curl my lashes because I'm afraid it's going to rip my lashes out. But I'll try to. Ciao. 
I'll be scared this stuff is gonna rip my lashes out. I really do be scared. But I feel like I need something on my eyes. Like, if not lashes, like my eyelashes need to be curled. I need to hurry up. I'm sitting here talking to you guys like we're on FaceTime. And that's not what this is. This is me getting ready for this audition so I can bang this out and get to the rest of my day. So anyways, so I'm just going to put this lip color on. Now, the hair girl. Oh my god. Oh. This is my hair straight. Well, semi-straight. It's like blown out. Um, I definitely don't think that this is the look that they want. <laughs> well, what am I going to do, y'all? I could do like a ponytail like this. Or I could braid this down and put my wig on and say, F it. I'm not playing around with this hair today. Or I could do half up, half down. But does that make me look childish? Does it make me look childish? Do I look childish? I look childish, huh? Girl. I definitely am. Um, this is definitely not the look. So what are we going to do? Are we going to put this freaking, oh my God, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, so I have to figure out this hair and then I'm going to have to come back to y'all because, yeah, it's going to take me a second. All right. I fear the casting director will be like, oh, we're going to have to pay a hair person to do that. I don't know. No, I'm overthinking. I mean, the hair could book me or the hair could break me. And that's the thing. Okay, and I've had my hair book me and I've had my hair break me. I guess y'all gonna have to see. All right, that's it, I've had it, I'm done. I think this isn't that bad. I think this is better. Now I just need to flip these ends of my hair and we're gonna be ready for my audition. Oh, did I show you guys my outfit? This is the outfit. I have to do a full body slate and what that means is I have to slate to camera in full body instead of like a headshot like instead of like waist up. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stand outside and get a video of me vertical so they can see the whole body because I don't think you're going to be able to see it with the camera. So this top is from a two-piece set that I wore to Hawaii and, and then I just put on these like shorts they're like ruffled why did I why did I just twirl okay I just put on these black short shorts I tried selling these on Poshmark they wouldn't sell so I ended up putting them back in my closet and I'm happy that I did because they're perfect for this audition and then the little boat earrings yellow and then I do have to do a full body so I should probably pick out some shoes. If it was really me working in a bar, I would have on boots because I'm not getting my feet in this nasty bar scene. You know what I'm saying? Oh y'all, these sandals are cute. Why did I just put a cute outfit together? All right, I like this outfit. Okay, but anyways, you guys, that is the look. I'm gonna curl these ends up and do this audition and then I'm gonna come back to y'all. I keep saying that I'm gonna come back, but then I keep talking to y'all because it's taking me a long time to get ready. This is just how it be, okay? This is how it be. So this audition took up the whole freaking day, but I want to show you guys my setup. You guys already know how I set this up. I think I explained this before, but I literally have a sheet makeshift backdrop with like Velcro up there. I put the bar here because the scene is in a bar and I just thought it was fitting. You don't actually see the table in the scene, but it's just good to have it there because it feels more realistic. Things are going good it's 12 o'clock already i know so i wanted to have this submitted before 12 but it's 12 o'clock and i just have to work on it till it's done because i just literally figured it out hi dolls okay let me turn you guys around because yeah okay hi dolls we are back when i say we're back i just mean we're still in the same spot but we are done the tape was officially submitted to my agent i am just waiting for her to let me know if there's anything additional they need like 
sometimes casting will ask for like revisions or they'll ask like they'll give you notes and ask you to resend the tape like I like what you did but can you read it but read it a little bit more softer whatever they ask you know sometimes they'll ask for stuff like that and I've already learned my lesson with like taking down my setup taking off my makeup and getting unready and then them asking for something and then me having to get all back ready again just to send them a revised version of my self tape so we're not gonna play those games anymore we're gonna be smart and professional as we are and we are going to keep my setup up. I was going to keep my outfit on, but it is, y'all ain't going to believe this, it's 2.40. And I work tonight. I work at 7.45. I need to run my booty down the block and try to make it to the post office, like ASAP, and mail out my Poshmark order because I'm one of the girlies who... I have to mail my orders within 24 hours. And obviously I'll have to redo my hair because as y'all can see, Diana Ross, okay? Give it to me, baby. So let me just go, let me get dressed and go to the post office. Let's go.
wanted to show you guys what I've been getting up to in terms of like house organization. So I have all of these body creams that I'm just not getting the wear out of that I would like because I'm really into like body oils right now. I just feel like they moisturize my body so much better um, and they're long lasting more than like body creams. So I haven't been using these. And honestly, I only use these to layer with perfumes. And so I feel like they've been going off. I've tried selling some of these on Macari, but no one bought them. So I'm thinking I'm going to either have to declutter or find a better like place to store them. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to get rid of them. I need to clean my sink as you guys can see. It's quite messy. Just stains from like makeup and stuff. I did go ahead and finish the laundry. I did a quick workout and cleaned my room. So now my room is all clean outside of wiping down the sink. Um, and then I think I need to spot clean this rug because I looked at the directions and you actually can't put them in the washing machine. So I need to get down there and spot clean that. Right now, I'm just going to go sit down and edit a video, um, which I don't need to show y'all because, I mean, it's boring. Y'all are just going to be sitting there watching me edit. And I also need to film a video today as well. I forgot I also need to get a thumbnail. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot to show you dolls these new mini perfumes I got off of Macari. They're so cute and don't mind my nails, you guys. I'm literally waiting for um, some new nails to come in the mail. But look at how cute these are. They are the Ariana Grande Cloud, one of my favorite perfumes. And then also thank you next in the miniature form. Now, when I bought these, they did not come with a box. You dolls know I like when I just like having the box. I don't know, but they didn't come with the box. Oh my God. I'm so obsessed with that. I need cloud pink. I need the original like oh, sweet like candy miniature. Oh, I'm dead, but it's so cute. So I am slowly but surely collecting more and more mini fragrances. They're so cute and adorable. Okay. Oh my god you guys i just figured out how to change like the icons on my laptop and on my desktop to like cute pink <laughs> aesthetic and i'm also like cleaning off and decluttering my laptop as well there's a lot of stuff on my desktop Okay. Hi guys, so I just got done taking the pictures for my thumbnail for my, what video is this? No, no, yes, for my morning routine. I always forget to take thumbnails photos every time I'm filming. I don't know what it is. I just feel like I get caught up in the moment of filming and I forget, oh no, you have to actually stop and take a photo. But yeah, that's what we just did. I just finished up doing that, y'all. And I spent a lot of time doing computer work. So it is late in the day. It's probably like 4.32. 
but we still have a video to film. It's our perfume video, so I'm gonna film that right now. I already have my makeup on. I think I'm just gonna switch out my hair, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't know, you dolls love the pink wig, so I don't know, but I think I'm gonna, I think I might switch it out, so. Okay, dolls, we are done filming our video. It took a lot longer than I expected. It's now 6.30. So I'm hungry. I need to eat something immediately. I think I'm going to make salmon tonight. Not entirely sure, but that's what's defrosting. But yeah, I just want to check back in with you dolls and say we're finished filming the video. It was our fragrance video. I share with you dolls my fragrance wish list. So if you guys want to see what's on my wish list, please do go check that video out. Can I just give, I just want to give like a plug. This bottle, I got this I think from Burlington or Ross. This is the, or maybe it might have been my Marshalls. This is the Mayhem brand. This water bottle is so freaking good. It is boiling hot in my apartment right now and I literally, this water stayed cold. I've been drinking this water while I was filming my video and it's ice cold. It is like an aluminum bottle, I believe. So yeah, but I just want to throw a shameless plug in there. Like this isn't sponsored or anything like that. I don't even know them, but this is such a good water bottle. But yeah, anyways. <coughs> finished with that and i had a lot of fragrances on my wish list which is why that video took longer than i expected um but the next video i think i'm gonna film for fragrance videos is either gonna be a fragrance haul of some sort like either bath and body works because i do have a haul coming for that but i don't know if i want to save that for fall content because the majority of that stuff is probably gonna be fall so i might save that one um, and then I also am trying to get my hands on the Sabrina Carpenter perfume, the, the Britney Spears perfume, and also the Yara perfume. So whichever one of those arrive first and I get my hands on, I'm going to do a review for that. And then the next video I have also in the docket is a upcoming new release fragrances, pass or purchase video. So we're going to have that as well. But y'all, I am planning the content. I'm planning it out. I'm just... I had to get re-inspired by my fragrance content for a second because I was getting really uninspired with it like just buying fragrances doing hauls and doing reviews nothing wrong with that I love doing reviews and trying it out it helps a lot of people but just buying so many perfumes and having them go to waste sometimes was like I don't know what's getting to me but now I feel like I'm coming into other ideas about fragrance content like talking about new releases talking about if i'll purchase or pass like having new ideas for fragrance videos other than just buy 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 review 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 i don't know what i'm saying i'm gonna talk to you guys later i'm going off on a tangent bye <laughs> aftermath of a haul we just got done filming so make sure you go watch the video pinky's there
Okay. Hi, you guys. I am so tired. Okay, y'all. So it is a few days later. I haven't really been vlogging um, because I've just been handling like real life stuff. And I worked last night, so I'm like super groggy. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I worked last night, so I'm like super groggy, but I wanted to do some things today. Um, I don't even know what y'all, I'm not going to even hold you. I don't even know what this vlog is. Like I thought that it would be a productive vlog. Hold on. Can y'all even see me? I have my tea in hand. It's just a uh, black chai with cream. Um, I don't know what this vlog is. <laughs> Uh, I was trying to figure it out because I'm like, is it a productive vlog? Because I think initially it was going to be a productive vlog because I started it out so productive. Like I was doing all the chores. I had auditions and stuff like that. It was just, it just ended up being a productive vlog. I was just vlogging and it ended up looking very productive. So I was like, okay, maybe this is a productive vlog. But then I didn't vlog for a few days. And then now I'm coming back and... I have like some other stuff that I need to do for acting as well. Um, I booked this like small little gig. It's nothing, you guys. I'm not even going to like talk about it. Maybe I will. It's like nothing, but maybe I will talk to you guys about these little gigs that I'm gonna start doing just to pay the bills. But I'm gonna have a fitting, um, not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow, I have a fitting and I was like, oh, it'd be really cool if I could take you guys along with me for the fitting. I don't think they'll mind me vlogging the fitting Although I don't know because they did make me sign an NDA for this little gig. Like y'all, I don't have lines or anything. I'll explain later. But they did make me sign an NDA and another contract and they are like being super, super hypersensitive around it. They didn't even really give us a title. They gave us like a working title. So I know that it's Disney. That's all I know. And the only reason why I know that is because the production had reached out to me and the contract that I signed had Disney's logo all over it. So that's all I know. I don't really know anything else. And I don't think that I'm allowed to say anything else beyond that. But I'm trying to see if I want to take y'all with me and vlog it because it's going to be all the fitting is going to be like only they, I think they said it's going to be like two hours. They, no, she said it'll be less than two hours but they're gonna pay me for two hours just in case they run over time um and it's in manhattan beach which is far from me it's like an hour and a half drive from me so i might end up renting a car but i was like oh it might be fun instead of renting a car and doing like a road trip thingy it might be fun to like take the train and make it kind of like a day trip and then you know what i mean like it might be fun i could take books with me and stuff like that i don't know i have to figure it out because i'm like if i did that i would definitely want to vlog that i don't know anyways i shouldn't be talking to y'all about it because y'all are gonna see what y'all are gonna see and what y'all seeing right now okay so it don't matter i also have to do some maintenance stuff so i have to get my eyebrows well i just do my own eyebrows and i need to do my toes because y'all my toes have been the same polish since my brother's wedding which was june 15th so yeah we need a pedicure um i had to do all the things the waxings the things my hair all of that and my nails so i'm trying to decide if i <laughs> see this is where it goes like i have to do all this stuff i might as well film it also you guys let me show you something i got my fat food fun fall vibes you dolls know You've seen the summer Fat Fit Fun box. Um, I'm not gonna open this in this video. I probably shouldn't have even teased you with it. I'm so freaking excited about what's in this box. I'm so excited to see what's in here. But we're gonna open this in my fall prep vlog, which is coming soon. Um, anyways, we are in my bedroom because y'all already saw I cleaned up my room and everything like that. But I did film a video the other day which was a haul video. So if you guys did not see that, it was like a summer collective girly haul. Please do go check it out. I will leave it linked in the description box below. It was really, really fun haul. Um, but I had all this stuff on the floor and I migrated it to my closet because it's just easier because that's where all this stuff is gonna get put away at. So now I have a big pile of stuff on the floor I need to put away. 
I also have like this wardrobe rack from taking headshot pictures that I need to kind of like put away. So I had to deal with that. Also, y'all, I bought this rug off of Walmart. And I had seen this rug on Amazon and I was going to get it on Amazon. It was $15. And then I, while I was looking for rugs, this popped up, the same rug popped up on Walmart and it said $4. So I was like, $4? Amazon had it for $15. Four? Really? So I went ahead and bought the rug. And y'all, let me just show y'all. This is the rug. It's this pink pumpkin rug. It's, it's cute. Don't get me wrong, but it's not the rug that I ordered. I did order a pink pumpkin rug. The one that I ordered was so much cuter. First of all, it's super thin. I should have read like the reviews because a lot of people were saying in the reviews, this doesn't look like the picture and it's like super thin. Um, I like my rugs to be a lot more plush and the rug, well, the photo looked thicker. Not super thick, but thicker than just this okay so that was one thing that threw me off the second thing that threw me off was the color i will pop a picture up so y'all can see the difference because i was so annoyed the color is a like a vibrant let me turn the light on the color is like a vibrant bubblegum pink that is not the color that was online it was like a light pastel baby pink so i'm really disappointed about that and also even the stem is like this dark orangey brown and that was not the color of the stem. So I'm just disappointed about this. So I reached out to Walmart to return it. And they were like, sure, you can return it. But you have to pay to ship it back. I'm like, well, I don't want to pay to ship it back. Because it doesn't look like the photo. Like you guys sold me something that doesn't look like the actual photo. So why should I have to ship it back? They were like, what you can do is we'll send you a shipping label and you can print it out and then ship it back. So I was like, okay, fine. Now I don't have a printer, you guys. So I have to go to UPS. UPS charges like $2 and some change for a label. Now I'm not trying to get down into the nitty gritties. It's only $4, but it's like, why am I going to get paid $2 and some change to print out a shipping label and ship this back when I only paid $4 for it? I might as well keep it. So now I'm like, I don't think I'm going to return it, but what can I do with this, y'all? Because I don't want to use this. I was going to, the one that I wanted was going to go into my bathroom, like either in the front of my shower or in my kitchen. Or maybe even in the laundry room, but the laundry room has that bow rug and I want to keep that in there for now. So I don't know what to do with this. I'm like, do any of you guys want it? Maybe I can put it in a giveaway. Because I am thinking about doing like a fall or a Halloween giveaway. Anyways, that is the drama with the rug. I don't know what's going to happen to her, but she's there. I have to figure out how to store my bags. Because y'all, look at how cute they are. <laughs> y'all, how cute are these? Look, they're so forky. Oh. But I have to figure out where I'm going to store it. And this one, I honestly, I can't get over this. I like cannot, cannot get over this. Pinky, you there? Hold on, y'all. I think Pinky's. Come here, babe. Come on. Why are you out there crying? We're filming. You want to be in the video? I don't think, uh, first of all, I need to cut the tags off because that's not cute. And also somebody, I don't know if it was one of you dolls, but somebody put a bid in on this bag right here and hold on y'all so i'm just waiting to hear back if she wants it or not i think i posted it for 50 dollars, and the only reason why i did that is because one the you guys have no idea the fees the seller fees that are attached to selling on poshmark are ridiculous and Macari too, but Poshmark is, I think Macari like stopped it for a while, but Poshmark fees are crazy. And that's why I priced it at 50. But you guys can always hit me up and DM me or like message me on Poshmark and say, hey, or send me an offer. Like, oh, I can't pay the $50, you know, send me an offer and see. So she did send me an offer, um, but I countered her offer with another offer. So I'm waiting to hear back from her. It's a nice medium. I think I split us right in the middle. So she should be happy with that. But we're going to see. Um, but yeah, if you guys ever want like to buy one of the bags and you might feel like it's a little too pricey. Because I know that these 
platforms also, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if Poshmark does it, but I know Macari does it. They also charge the buyer to purchase and they charge the seller to sell. So they're getting money on both sides. But I want to hang these bags up. Ooh, she looks cute there. But I feel like she could also look, what was that? Oh, that was the rug. She could also look cute like hanging in the middle. Cause she's kind of big oh you guys also i woke i think i told you guys i uh worked really late last night what well, i always work late because i'm the accountant so i come in at the night shift and so i've been really tired and i woke up super late today but ooh, ooh i kind of want this one to be on a shelf though i don't want this the one to be hanging over here i kind of want this one somewhere else oh you guys, my bag wall. This should go on the bag wall first. Well, I don't know why this one was over there, but this one's also a fall bag. They're like the same color. They're like this mauve color, which is perfect for fall time. But I gotta figure out where I'm gonna store these or how I'm gonna store them. What was what was I saying? Yeah, so I woke up late today. So you doll saw. The I haven't cleaned the house all week and keeping it clean. Now, my roommate, he was in Canada, and I love when he, he leaves and goes on trips because when he is gone, I literally get the most things done. I am so freaking productive when he's not around. Don't ask me why, but when people are around, they're very distracting for me, and I get caught up in a lot of different things instead of what I need to do. So I had this house clean, baby, and when he's not here, the house stays clean. Tell me why the kitchen has been clean for like two, however long he was gone. The kitchen stayed clean. He comes back and the kitchen is tore up. Okay, y'all. Like, let me just have a heart to heart. Like, okay, if, let me let me start off with this. I love my roommate. Okay, and by the way, if you're new here, my roommate is my ex-boyfriend. Okay, so we're not together. We haven't been together for years. We just live together we, because circumstances. It's expensive to live on your own. It's expensive. And that's just the truth. It's better to share the expenses with someone than to try to struggle through it alone. But I love him, okay? Great guy. One of my good friends. But when I tell you guys I am so working tired of cleaning up behind this man look at me i am exhausted i don't want to pick up another forking thing i don't it's like every time i clean up y'all saw me clean up the other day literally the next day i come into the kitchen and it's a disaster it's like i have to clean crazy every day just to keep everything it's like i'll go in the kitchen i'll clean up everything it'll be nice and crisp and right after i clean it up he'll come out of his room and go right in there and mess it all up when i tell y'all he is driving me insane and not saying he's the only person that dirties up i'm not saying that at all we both make messes that's totally true but the difference is i clean my mess Okay, and I don't wait for other people to clean it for me. I clean my mess. I don't have no children, y'all. Why am I cleaning up 24-7? Why? So today I go in there. I literally worked all night. I get up, I go in the kitchen in the morning, and it's a disaster. Sink full of dishes, cups everywhere because he likes to make a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, and a cup of water in the morning. I don't know why you need three cups of something to drink. I don't get it, okay? But in any case, rinse your stuff out and put it in a dishwasher. And, and before you guys say anything, I've already talked to him about it. I've already said, let's just rinse our stuff and put it in a dishwasher. Yeah, we don't have any kids and we're not that busy. We should be able to just kind of keep up with, you know, our chores. Like, <laughs> tell me why I see an ice cream wrapper inside of a cup on a kitchen counter and a mug on a kitchen counter and a coffee pot full of coffee i don't know how long that's been there i don't know if it's been there from the day before or what on the counter dishes full a sink full of dishes the stove disgusting because you cooked on it 
Listen, we both cook on the stove, but why is there only one person cleaning it? Why am I the only person that cleans the stove? We both cook on it. You never clean a stove. This man, I have never seen him sweep the floor ever or mop a floor ever. Don't get me wrong, he does do some stuff, y'all. Like he will take out the recyclables once it's overflowing on the floor. He will take them out. He will take out the trash. And occasionally he will do dishes. Occasionally. Don't, when he's in the mood. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he doesn't do anything. He's just a slob. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying is it's almost like I'm expected to keep everything clean. I'm expected to keep everything in order. And it's like he's kind of like, oh, when I feel like doing something, I'll do it. But other than that, I just leave it a mess because it's almost like I'm not saying this is true. I'm saying how I feel. It's almost like he's like, Zuri can deal with it. Oh, Zuri will do it. She likes cleaning. And I'm one of those people I cannot stay in a dirty house I can't I understand something being messy for a moment like you put a you put a few dishes in a sink you put something here you put something there and then you forget about it or you go to work like me mind you he doesn't go to work okay y'all he does fitness training virtual fitness training so he does it over zoom three times I think out of the week so he doesn't really go anywhere so it's not like you're forgetting you're putting stuff in a sink and running out to an office and then forgetting you left stuff dirty at home it's not that it's i just don't want to clean it up and i know somebody else will and when i tell y'all i don't want to make this a long rant because i don't when i tell you i'm just trying to express my frustration today because when I walked in that kitchen and I saw all that stuff there after I didn't get home until one o'clock in the morning from work, I went straight to bed. I didn't even go in. I went straight to bed. So to walk, get up and walk in that kitchen and see that, I was like, I literally just cleaned this. Why is it like this? You can tell how he was raised. It's like he only does the things he was taught to do. So he was taught to take out the trash. So that's why he takes out the trash. He was taught sometimes to do the dishes, so that's why sometimes he does the dishes. But anything else doesn't clean. It's like, never wipes down the countertops. Like, there's more things that need to be cleaned in the kitchen besides just the dishes and the trash. The countertops need to be cleaned. The floor needs to be swept and mopped. The appliances need to be wiped down. The refrigerator, who, he's never cleaned out the refrigerator since we've lived here. I'm the only person that cleans out the fridge. Anyways. I had to voice this because it, it's been inside of me, y'all. <laughs> and it's been irking the F out of me for a very long time. And I've talked to him about it and nothing changes. His bathroom is driving me insane. This is what it's like to live with a man. This is why I don't want to live with a man. I don't want to live with anybody, let alone a dude. I don't. Let me tell you. I will blame it on myself and say, it's me, y'all. It's me. It's me. I don't like living with people. I can't get anything done. I'm focused on picking up behind people and keeping everything in order. Because I, I like things to be clean and I like things to be in order a certain way. It helps me flow better. It helps my thoughts flow better. I can be more creative. I can focus on other things. But when your house is a mess and there's crap all over the place it's hard for you to focus or when you're busy picking up and correcting things all day it's hard for you to focus to get anything done because you're spending a day correcting everything y'all i have been trying to train him for so long to stop putting garbage in the sink he will take garbage put it into a bag and stick it in the sink when we have a garbage trash can you y'all <laughs> I said, well, if you're going to put garbage in the sink, just use the, the garbage disposal. Why are you just setting garbage in a trash bag in the sink? Use the garbage disposal. He doesn't want to use the garbage disposal. He has his own way of doing things that actually don't make sense because he's never run a household before because he's not a woman. Not saying that only women know how to run households because, granted, a lot of y'all men out there right now are doing y'all thing. Y'all are running these households. Y'all are doing a great job. 
but some of these older men from older generations they don't have that type of training and if their parents mind you he's an only child from a single mother no father in the picture so you, you're used to women doing things for you. You're used to a woman taking care of you and doing things for you. So you don't know how to do anything or run a household. Everything I say, he just brushes it off like I'm over-exaggerating. And I'm like, I might be, but you're driving me insane. Why did I just put pajama shorts on the hanger? What is wrong with me? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Look at how cute these slippers are. I still have to find the mediums. Again, great guy, not a horrible person, sweet, kind, but a little immature, a little messy, and a little narcissistic and egotistical. And it doesn't, mm, I, like, physically, we're compatible. Um, mentally, we are not. Like, we are just so different which makes so much sense as to why we broke up in the first place because we are not on the same wavelength. We are not, no, <laughs> we are different. And it's nothing wrong with that. It's not to say anything bad about him because nothing wrong with him being different. It's just, it makes complete sense to me now why it would never work. So now I'm not in the mood today to go in there and clean up that kitchen. I'll be honest. I was like, okay, you know what? It's fine, whatever. I'll do it because I have to film anyway. I have to film this productive vlog anyway. So I could just include that cleaning portion in my, no, I'm not. I don't feel like y'all. I don't feel like going in there. I said, you know what? I'm not gonna cook in no dirty kitchen and I'm not gonna clean that kitchen for the 50th time in a row. I'm not. So I left it and I think I'm gonna leave it today. I think I'm just over it. So thank you for being my therapist today and allowing me to vent. <laughs> I'm done, I'm gonna let it go. So I'm on to this closet and I'm thinking I want to like reorganize this closet. So I have my like scrunchies in this bin and I have one with hair clips and stuff and one with like hair bands. And I told you guys I had bought the cosmetic bag, this one, to put like my hair scrunchies or my hair clips in. So I want to do that and I want to use this these bins for something else. These are, oh yeah, these are hair clips. Wait a second, there's like, this is so disorganized, but there's like stuff in here. This should go into that other bin. Actually, I think it'll be better to put like my hair clips and stuff that's in here in, here, in this bag. And then I'm gonna take this off. Yeah, and then I think the cosmetics bottle I keep inside of a separate bag. I'll show you guys how I do this. So this is my like travel cosmetics supplies. So I put all of my like travel size bottles and things like that in here. So when I go on a trip, I can just pull this bag and take out any of like my travel size stuff. I love this bag, also Juicy Couture Chrome, it's so cute. Actually, I might just leave it right here because I think I want to clean off the Juicy Couture PJs that are folded here. That's everything. And now I have this other bin where I can like store other things that I need bag as well. And then this one, I think I'm gonna put hair ties or no, I'm gonna put scrunchies.
And these I'm going to put underneath my sink because they're fall colors and I'm probably going to be wearing them soon. So these are my recently worn hair ties or scrunchies. So I just put like the current ones I'm wearing in here so that they're ready for me to grab when I do my hair. And then the ones that I don't really wear that much or I like wear them only for like videos and stuff or special occasions, I put in here so I can grab those. But yeah, put that underneath this. I don't have a cosmetics bag for this at the moment so I think these will stay in here until I find I think this is probably the best spot for them as well and maybe I could organize them a little bit better because some of them did rip like this one broke and I think part of it is because they weren't really organized in there very well okay guys so I'm gonna organize my closet and I'm gonna come back to y'all and show y'all what is like done once it's finished because it's gonna take me a minute Hey you guys, I did like a mini closet refresh off camera, so I'm going to show you guys what I did. I am feeling a little bit better after I, you know, let you guys know how I felt. Um, again, I love my roommate, but living with someone is not for me, and I know that now. Um, but anyways, so I did a little mini, um, closet refresh. I'm gonna show y'all what I pretty much did. I think I've shown y'all this before, or maybe I did it off camera, but I did color code. I color coded it to, like, my standards, which is blacks, whites, pinks, to hot pinks, to reds, to oranges, to yellows, to greens, to blues, to purples, and then, like, grays, I think, is in there as well. And I did that because I mainly wear black and pink. So why would I color code it another way? I just put all the ones that I wear the most right here. Um, and I also put some of my like winter sweaters and stuff out, which we're gonna do a fall reset. So we'll bring all the fall stuff out anyway, but I just kind of started early. This stuff is just stuff that I don't know what to do with yet, like where to store it. So I have to figure out how I'm gonna where I'm gonna put that and then I kind of folded all of my pants and organized them I know it looks a little messy still but it is kind of organized okay but ideally I want to get this closet cleaned out like I have a lot of stuff that should go into storage like all of this is like seasonal decor I have bins all over there bins down here that's seasonal decor and I just feel like if it was in storage I would have so much more space in my closet to like really do what I wanted to do but anyway, let me show you guys what I did to this closet because this is where I predominantly did the majority of the work. So I did put the two uh, cosmetic bags up there. I think I might change this around because this might be not be that practical, but yeah, I did that. I have all my sports bras here. I have my croc pants, my full leg workout pants, and then these are gonna be my yoga pants. The rest of them are in the wash. I only have like two more. And then this is what I did for like wallets and stuff. So I put my card holders in the skinny one and then my wallets back there in that one. It fit perfectly in the space. And then this one has my like little wristlets. So I think that's pretty good. The only thing that I didn't know where to store was my shorts. So I have all of my juicy shorts here and I have to figure out where I'm gonna store those. And also this bag, I have to figure out where I'm gonna put it. Cause y'all, I'm running out of space in this little apartment that bag there for now um okay and then on this side pinky likes to come in here and sleep on the side but i pretty much organize all of my pjs over here and those are like pretty much long sleeve pjs so all my short sleeve pjs are in the like bin for me to wear right now and then these are all of my like lounge sets and then right here i have like all of my sleep shirts so that's what it's looking like right now, you guys. Like I said, I feel a lot better. It feels a lot more organized in my closet. Okay, dolls, just ignore all of the like grunge right here. I'm gonna deep clean this shower but I wanted to share with you I just put the rest of my body creams in here I tried to sell these on Macari they didn't sell so now I'm just trying to use them up because I don't want my money to go to waste even though I 
only use these body creams like if I'm going out and I want to like layer it with like a perfume I don't use these on my body like all the time I use like body oils so but we're gonna try to use them up I've been obsessed with the strawberry soda recently I put my body scrubs over here for now because my plan is to put them in the drawer because I don't have that many body scrubs so it's like not like I didn't need the entire shelf I think the body creams are better there also I forgot to show y'all this but I did do the DIY remember when I told you I was gonna do a DIY on my little like ghost headband and everything sorry it's not focusing don't worry about the stuff in here like I told you guys I had stuff on the floor from my haul so I have to put it away <laughs> um but look you guys i added a little cute pink bow to her can you guys see that there she is she's focusing it's a little cute pink bow i added it on this one and the other wristlet and i also did it to the headband so cute and girly um so if you guys haven't guessed my theme this year for halloween start guessing because I just gave y'all so many clues. I mean, once you see the Halloween haul, you'll probably already know, but um, that's pretty much it. I still need to put this rack, the wardrobe rack in here away. It's still sitting out, so I'm gonna do that before I go into the office. And I keep telling y'all, oh, we're gonna head into the office, but no. The next time y'all see me will actually be in the office. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Like why more dishes? And here I am. Nobody else is gonna do them. I emptied out the dishwasher. And I washed one sink. There's two sinks. I washed one sink. I feel like I did my part. And we put these away. Now I do not have a lot of mini perfumes. I just started collecting them, and let me tell y'all, I am obsessed with them. There's So I am about to clean out my dirty shower, y'all. It's so disgusting. I have bleach and some soap in this little bucket. I'm just going to put on my uh, shower slides and then I'm just going to clean the walls, y'all. It is so dirty. But I tell y'all, look at the, my hair. It's like all on the shower walls. This stain is actually like mold. And I also had a mold stain over there and I only noticed it because a few days ago I was in the shower and I was like, what is this? And I looked at it and it was mold. And then I got out of the shower and which was like yesterday, I think, or the that night, yesterday night. What? Last night? No, the night before last when I took a shower because I took a shower at night. Oh, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> But then I was like, okay, I'm gonna clean my shower, but then I forgot, and then I came back today to clean it, and y'all, look at this. That's mold. And this shower just keeps molding. I don't know what it is. I turn the fan on when I'm taking a shower. I open up the windows and the doors to get ventilation, and it's still, that's what the landlord told me to do. It's still, like, molding. And a lot of it is, like, in between the grout, and I think I have to like do something with the grout. I'm not entirely sure. Somebody, if y'all know, what can I do? Because like even all around the side of the tub, all that's mold. And I, I keep washing it. It doesn't go away. Like it, it stays. So if y'all know, please help me. Help me, help me, help me. But yeah, I'm going to clean this out. <laughs> later you guys probably haven't heard from me in the longest time don't mind all of this Halloween decor right there I am organizing this and getting ready to start my decorating and my fall prep vlog oh hello you can't see me <laughs> there you go um maybe a little bit more yeah hi 
it's a few days later I don't know when the last time I spoke with you guys um, but I know it's been quite a few days uh, I did end up getting my little girl you know it's that time of the month so y'all know that just takes me out and it took me out it took me out bad so um, I just didn't feel like vlogging and honestly to be honest with y'all today I didn't feel like vlogging either but I was thinking about it I was like how am I gonna handle like being an actor and stuff like that if like there's gonna be days where you're not gonna want to film there's gonna be days where you're not gonna want the camera in your face you're not gonna want to engage and you're gonna have to do it because it's your job so I told myself I was like now's the time to practice that but I was running errands all day and I've been doing stuff all week I had scheduled a job interview for today and it got canceled because uh, I canceled it I canceled it because upon my research into the company I realized that their hmm, how do you even say that the culture of their brand and their company is not something that is in line with my how do I say it it's not something that's in line it's not something that is within alignment with my core values does that make sense I hope that made sense I kind of did my research on them and kind of found out you know what they're about all these things and I just felt like I didn't feel right about it and um, after hearing feedback and reviews from other people who worked at the company I think the feeling I initially got to make me go do the research in the first place was correct and so I sent them a nice little email and I said you know thank you so much for your consideration but after careful consideration I have decided that this role isn't fit for me at this time um, I want to thank you so much for reaching out to me and I want to wish you good luck in your search thank you so much but I will not be attending the interview today and thank you so much and for some of y'all, you might be like, girl, you should have gotten it. No, 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 no. I'm not going to say the name of the company. I'm not going to say the, the research and what I found. But what I found was pretty bad. And uh, they don't seem like a reputable company. And I believe there are reports to the Better Business Bureau against them because they don't seem to be doing mm, legitimate business. Let's just say that. So, anyways... That's neither here nor there. We're moving forward with our day. Again, like I said, I did wake up feeling a little bit like I don't want anyone to talk to me and I don't want to talk to anybody. I just want to do my tasks and get through this day. But we're going to try today. So I just got back from Burlington. I figured I could show you guys that. I didn't show you guys me running around the city doing all my tasks because I just felt like it would have slowed me down and I would have been, y'all would have been bored. Like if y'all, y'all would have been bored, trust me. Um, so yeah, I went to Burlington really quick because I needed to pick up some necessities. One, I needed some stove cleaner. They were out this time, so I didn't get that. Then I also needed to get some deodorant. I also was looking for like a pencil case. And then I also needed to pick up a like a bottle, a water bottle, a spray bottle for my hair because the one that I got a while ago, it was for a plant <laughs> and I stole it from the plant that I was using to squirt water on. And I started using it in my hair and for some reason all of a sudden when I squirt it now the sides leak I don't know what that's about so I had to go get another water bottle for my hair and then um, I thought while I'm here I might as well just check in the Halloween and the fall section and just see if they have anything new out and also just check the purses and the bags there wasn't a lot new in the purses and the bags department they had a few new makeup bags they were juicy they came out with these really cool gold pink and lime green so beautiful so cool just not my aesthetic so I didn't pick it up but other than that they came out with like a red tote like a tufted or plush red tote I want to say it's kind of like this kind of print or material in a way but it was red and it was a tote and it was like a y'all I don't really know what they were doing because it it was more or less like a a Christmas color and I was like well how did you skip fall though but it looked Christmas to me um, so you'd also know when I did my haul I showed you this little 
this little pumpkin right here and this was like the only pink one that they had that was small and I remember last year they had bigger ones and I didn't have a chance to get my hands on it so I was like when they come out this year I'm gonna get it so they had a bunch more of these in a bunch of different sizes they had them in like a taupey nudie brown color and also a cream color and the cream color was so pretty like low-key I was like oh I should get some of the cream to mix in with the pink and maybe do something like that in the living room because I'm thinking I want to use this I think in the living room like because it's a mauve pink and I feel like bunny will be okay with like mauves and the neutrals I'm gonna try y'all I'm gonna try to sneak pink in so I did find a pumpkin a big one I'm gonna show you guys here she is the mama and the baby they're so cute and she has all her glitter at the top they had tons of them there was another pink one and I thought oh you should get it and then I was like no save it for another pink girly you only really need the two for the living room for my little uh, corner or coffee table well it's not really a coffee table credenza um, so I was like I don't need two this was $9.99 um, really good deal considering that remember I told you dolls when we went on our little shopping trip at home goods they had a pumpkin like this of this size for $9.99 so look at how how much bigger that is and then I also had a credit oh that was the other reason why I went there because I had made a return which I might talk about in my fall prep video but um, all of the core here is all the core I decided to keep I did go back and return some of the stuff from my haul some of the stuff I told you guys I had gotten months and months ago like three four maybe even five months ago so some of the stuff I could only get a store credit for so they gave me a store credit and so I wanted to use my store credit because I'm one of those people that will have a gift card and store credits and never use them and just lose them so I wanted to use it so that's another reason why I went in there yeah these are gonna look really good in the living room on the credenza and then you guys while I was over there I saw these I was like oh I don't know what it is I always have to check the candles I love fall candles I just have to smell them all I don't want to buy them I just want to smell them all that's it so I looked over there and I saw that they had these cute like pumpkin candles like this in these little glass jars so pretty you guys look at that and they had the first this was all the way at the back the ones that were at the front were like the orange one they had this purple this deep purple one and then this bright hot pink one and I immediately smelled the bright hot pink one because I just thought it was so odd. I'd never seen a pumpkin shaped candle that was hot pink. So I just thought it was odd. So I smelt it and y'all it smelled like gummy worms. It did not smell like fall at all. So I was like it's a cool idea and I think it's cute for like the neon babes and all of the like Halloween, hippie Halloween. Like I get it you guys. I understand the bright Halloween this year. It's so cool and cute. Not my aesthetic but it's cool and cute. So I get that the scent would kind of match the aesthetic and be more vibrant, but I just want a fall candle to smell like fall. I saw this one all the way at the back. When I say all the way at the back, I mean I had to move all of them to get to the back. And this one said on the front, it's by Willow and Rose, by the way, that's the brand. And then it said autumn morning. And I was just like, oh my God, please let this smell like fall please I just want it to smell like fall so you guys this smells so freaking good oh my god it smells so good it's so hard to describe the scent of this there's a crisp freshness in it almost like crisp fall leaves falling in the air like it smells like fall leaves falling in the air if you guys know my favorite fall candle if you don't know my favorite fall candle is Bath and Body Works Leaves. I love that candle. This kind of has an undertone of that candle, but with more fruit and more sweetness to it. It smells like a crisp fall morning, but with like, what is that scent? It's a very fruity scent. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm putting you all over the place, but pretty much what this smells like is crisp fall leaves and peach with like, 
apples in it it's like more apples but then there's also an undertone of sweet vanilla almost like a cakey note to it there's not like cinnamon yeah there's no spicy cinnamon note to it just more of like a fresh crisp apple crisp leaves there's almost like a cologne scent you know how kind of like the leaves candle and bath and body works has like a cologne scent to it it kind of smells like that it smells like the leaves candle only with peaches and more apples and less like cinnamon cardamom that type of vibe less spice so it does smell very fall you guys but it's a different type of fall it's more like a fresh crisp sweet fall and less of like a pumpkin-y spice fall if that makes any sense but i love it i think this is the most unique scent that i've ever smelt i hope that the throw is good on this because y'all know some of these candles smell so delicious on the cold and then when you light them you don't smell nothing okay so this one was $7.99 I think it's a really good deal for a candle of this size. I honestly can't wait to burn this. And I got it to go into the kitchen, but then when I got home, I thought, you know what, this could fit in the bathroom as well because it's kind of small on the smaller side. But I got it to go in the kitchen because I feel like, sorry guys, I can't stand those stickers from the store, but I feel like this matches the kitchen decor a lot better because I'm going with like more of a cartoony style in the kitchen um and i don't necessarily want to do that in all the parts of the house but yeah she's pretty cute a little bit more of a vibrant pink than my favorite color but i still think she works and i can definitely use her so we're gonna keep her i'm excited to burn that one i just hope the throw is there i needed to get all of my necessities remember i had a whole list of necessities that's why i went in there before i got distracted by all of this stuff and i also got to see my friend in there too he works there so i was kind of hanging out chatting with him a little bit um he gave me some really cool books to read i think i shared them with you earlier in this vlog but yeah he gave me some really cool books to read so we just talking about the books and stuff like that but i got this um it's a hair mist bottle spray bottle we're gonna call it a spray bottle okay i can't see what the proper term for it is but it's just a hairspray bottle you guys and i got this one because one of the associates were telling me she uses this one and she was telling me how good it was. So I picked it up. It does come in like a green color and a white. And I think there's a purple or gray. I'm not entirely sure which one I, if it was purple or gray. I can't remember. But there's like three different colors. And I just picked up this one. Um, I think I'm probably going to try to rhinestone the head or the spray cap. Hopefully I don't ruin it by doing that. But I just think it'll be cool and cute like on my vanity or with my hair tools like that i'm also not a fan of this pink shade it's just a little bit too much for me i like a more muted type of a pink if you guys can tell like more pastel so but it's better this one than the green one right this was 3.99 and y'all tell me if that's expensive or not because i swear the last time I bought like a hairspray bottle, it was a dollar ninety nine at the beauty supply store. Or did I get it from Amazon? I don't know, but I definitely did not pay more than two dollars for it. I know that for a fact. So for this to be four dollars, I was just like, what is happening? Whatever. We got this. This was a necessity, and we needed it. Then I also got another necessity deodorant, and I'm trying out this one. I've never used it before. I have used Secret in the past. I used to get Secret all the time. It was used to be the only deodorant that worked for me, and then I switched over to a natural deodorant. Um, but I haven't been able to find the natural deodorant that I like in the stores recently, and I'm almost out of the one that I have. So I'm trying to hold on to it. So I picked up this as a backup in the meantime. Also, I don't wear deodorant like crazy style like that, only because I noticed it was like making me sweat more and make, giving me an odor that I never had before. So now that I only use deodorant like as needed and it really works for me, um, this was $4.99. I do remember purchasing secret deodorant at Target for like $1.79. Now maybe I'm I'm tripping. I haven't brought, bought the brand secret in a very long time. But I swear to you guys, I used to buy a secret deodorant from Walmart and Target and it used to be $1.79. I was shocked when I saw $5 at Burlington, the discount store. I was shocked. I was like, girl, what? But this one, 
it just smells like a fresh clean scent it's nothing special if i could identify it as anything i'd say it has like a sweet pea scent like if you've ever smelled sweet pea by bath and body works it's kind of like that like a generic fresh maybe light floral scent um and it says for it out it's called the outlast and it's for sweat and odor and it has ph balancing minerals and it's supposed to last for 48 hours we're gonna try it. I'm gonna let you guys know. A lot of deodorants break me out with rashes, so we'll see how this one goes. I've used Secret before. Keep that in mind. I've just never used the gel. I've always used like the uh, the dry stick or whatever you wanna call it, powder stick. I don't know. So we got the deodorant, and then I needed a pencil bag, and I thought to myself let me just go on Amazon and go to Target and look back to school supplies. Like, let me just look through the back to, to school supplies and see if I can find a pencil case because I have been obsessed with my planner. I have like a little notebook and I've been writing all of my like content ideas down and I love using my color pens and like stickers to decorate. I, I just love it. I'm obsessed with it. And it's so much fun and sometimes I'll go out on a patio and I'll sit out there and just write and color and decorate and make my little plans for my little, even my decorating content and stuff, I plan out those videos, I plan out the projects I want to do and I kind of decorate it to the theme that I'm decorating to, I decorate the pages, it's so fun. And I just get sick sometimes of like grabbing a handful of my pins and putting them in a cup and carrying them from here to there. So I thought, let me just get a pencil case, like a pencil bag. Y'all tell me why pencil cases are like $12. Asa, what? I swear pencil cases were like 3 to $5. I swear to you. I swear I remember going to the Dollar Tree and maybe I still can. And maybe that's what I should have did. And pencil cases were a dollar something. I swear to you, pencil cases were not $12. I'm like, am I living in a different time zone? So I was like, okay, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to Burlington anyway. I'll just check the back to school section in Burlington and see if they have any cute pencil cases. They they ugh, they had cute pencil cases, but it was too childish for me. They were very, very like everything was iridescent. Nothing wrong with iridescent, but everything was iridescent. <laughs> and unicorn and blues and pinks and purple. Nothing wrong with the colors, nothing wrong with unicorns. Just for me, I was just like, I just want like a cutesy bag to put my pins and pencils like plain pink or maybe something like pink with bows or something like that it could be girly but just not juvenile no they didn't have it so I ended up thinking I'm like this is crazy that they legitimately don't have any like they had them but they were like I, I'm not even lying I wish it was a joke they were like I think Burlington had a few that were $7.99 but they were around $12. Now, don't get me wrong, they were kind of big and they did, most of them did come in like a two or three pack, but they were anywhere from $7.99 to $12.99 for pencil cases. And I'm just like, I'm not doing that. Um, they were plastic as well, so that might, I guess, whatever. Then I thought to myself, I had a bright idea. I was like, you know, I wonder if there are any cosmetics bags that could fit like my pencils because you dolls know I you I have so many cosmetics bags and you see my hauls um, but I use them for so to store so many different things like my hair clips my scrunchies just all different things skincare whatever I ha even have a, a makeup bag with like my mics in them one with all of my battery chargers another one with all of my phone accessories so I really get good use out of them so I was like, if I'm going to pay $12 for a pencil case, I might as well just get a makeup bag that's really cute, that's a lot more mature, that I can put my pens in. That's what I was thinking. So we went to the makeup bag session, and that's where I saw that Juicy Couture makeup, like lime green with the gold and the pink. Didn't pick that up. But I did see this one, and this was kind of the shape I needed. I needed something like triangular like this that I could just hold to take carry around with me and something that wasn't too big and the green one was way too big it also again wasn't my aesthetic 
But this one was pretty cute. It's like a fabric material, which I'm a little bit nervous about because I don't know if any ink might spill out onto it. I should probably check the inside of it. Oh no, it's locked. <laughs> it's locked closed. Yeah, I'm gonna check the inside of it and see if it's got like, if it's got material I can wipe out. But this seems like a type of bag that I'm going to have to throw in the wash and wash them. And don't get me wrong, I do wash my makeup bags when they get dirty, especially the fabric-y ones. This does come with a um, little travel toiletry bottle, and I'll just keep that and put that away for when I go on a trip. But this is super cute. It has, like, hearts, crowns, a diamond, and the JC logo. Um, this was $9.99, and of course, you guys know I use my credit to buy this stuff. Wow. So, like I said, I did use my credit from my return to buy this stuff. So, girl math. I didn't really spend any money. It was free. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this was $9.99. I thought if I'm going to get a bag for my pencils, I might as well make sure the bag is cute. And this was cheaper than the pencil case that I wanted. So, yeah, I got this. Love the little Emelyn on it, if you guys could see that. Um, it's so cute. Embolem. Embolem. That's what I'm saying. Because before I was saying that word wrong, and people were in the comments like, what are you saying? What is that? What are you saying? And I'm so sorry I was saying it incorrectly. I was trying to say embolem. Like I kept saying embolent. It's so funny when you like put yourself out there to the world, to the masses. It's so crazy how people are so quick to jump on a mistake that you made. And I get it because they're watching you, so they're evaluating you. But it's like, if I was having a conversation with somebody and I said, messed up instead of word wrong like Imbolin, it probably would have flowed through the moment and never had been mentioned. But because I'm on the internet and I'm putting myself out there for people to view me and judge me, it's like, the, you could say the smallest thing wrong. It's like, I swear, it feels like sometimes people are waiting for you to say something wrong, do something wrong, make a mistake, something, so that they can correct you. And I think it's just a matter of people feeling like they want their voices to be heard. Some of it isn't. Some of it is just people trying to, like, legitimately, like, hey, girl, a little nudge. Like, you saying it wrong, you should probably not say that. But you can kind of tell by the cadence in the comments if someone's trying to like nice and kindly correct you versus someone just trying to make you feel bad about making a mistake and i just want to say i don't ever feel bad about making mistakes saying anything wrong i'm human i know i'm human and i'm fine with making mistakes so yeah i said the word wrong many of times and now i know I've corrected myself and I've worked on saying it correctly, emblem. When I'm speaking fast, sometimes words come out a little bit faster than I process them. Anyways, I don't need to get into that tangent. I just want to say that because I got people like are so quick, like, don't say that, don't. It's like, okay, oh my God, I said a word wrong, God forbid. Like, oh my God, you probably say a million things wrong and do a million things crooked and off every single day. But because it's not on the internet for anybody to view, no one says anything to correct you. But yet, because I'm on the internet, it's like, ah, ah, oh my God. Um, anyways, I still love you guys. <laughs> Even though you correct me, like, I still love you. Like I said, not all of you. Some of you are very kind and you're just kindly trying to correct me and be like, that's not the way, that's, that's not it. You're saying that wrong. But then there's some people that just want to rip into me. Anyways. Hi, dolls. Okay, so today is... What is today? Oh, it's Tuesday. And again, I'm not sure what 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 vlog this is going into i'm not sure today i have my fitting i booked this little project it's nothing you guys i'll tell you about it later but honestly to be honest with y'all i think i'm gonna be so stressed out because i haven't taken the metro system in a long time i think i'm gonna be so stressed out trying to figure out where i'm going i don't even think i'm going to be able to film it i'll do the best that i can also i don't think i could take you guys with me so i'm gonna use my phone because they're really really strict it's like a disney production and we can't like have our phones our cameras and all that like 
no i definitely can't have my camera out but i was gonna take you guys with me in my bag just to like vlog on the trip going there but now i just don't think it's a good idea also because i'm gonna be on the train and you never know it's just like i'm gonna be going through different types of cities and different types of areas and i don't want to get robbed or anything like that or even just forget and leave my camera on a train or something so i'm gonna leave you guys here unfortunately but i will try to get as many clips as i can oh it's two hours a little bit over two hours on the train so i'm literally going to be spending all day traveling four hours total and then i have to come back and go to work it's the type of stuff that happens all the time as an actor i just want to let y'all know it's this type of crazy stuff things get changed around last minute details don't come through until last minute this is the real life like i don't know what those other actors are out there showing y'all glamorous fakeness <laughs> but that is not how it is i'm gonna eat my peanut butter sandwich before i have to leave here in a second uh, I have a bus ride. That's the first thing I have a bus ride to the metro station, to the train station. And then I'll be on trains until I get there. The one good thing is the train that arrives in the city in El Segundo is like literally one minute, like right across the street from the production office. So that I'm hoping is true. That's what Google said. I'm hoping that's true because that i need that i need it to be right there because i don't i'm not good with directions y'all so oh also i look crazy my hair is a mess i just took a shower and got ready and i literally didn't put anything in my hair so it looks like a giant poof ball this was this was their request this was hair and makeup's request is that i come with my hair washed no products in it and i can already tell by the directions that they're putting down for my hair that who's ever running the makeup or not the makeup whoever is in charge of the hair is definitely not african-american because the type of stuff they're saying is just like no that's not gonna work for my hair <laughs> you know and i'm really nervous because i don't like people putting their hands in my hair and i definitely don't want them to put products in it that i don't use you know what i mean i know it might happen when you're on set but like i'm just hoping they just like oh you're fine you you're good just come like that to set just come like that that's what i'm hoping they do because the amount of times you guys that i've had people who don't do african-american hair doing my hair and just not knowing how to handle it just being completely overwhelmed with it and just making me look like a fool i can't i can't even count on both hands just a light makeup again like i said i'm heading into work after this so i want to just give you guys kind of like a realistic day in the life of an actor you know, it's not glamour, it's not glitz. When you book your first major role, then yes, it kind of becomes glamour and glitz. But even then, it's kind of still hard because you're still getting your feet wet. And I haven't had the opportunity to book my first, like, lead role. So it's like this. It's a hustle. I'm going to go play with Pinky for a little bit because I'm not going to see her all day. And then I'll see you guys on the train, I think. Wait, 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 wait. What do you like about this girl? I like the way she smiles, she got me staring for a while, got me staring for a while. Yeah. Baby, it's our conversation, she's my favorite notification. She knows how to dress for special occasions. She got me thinking life could be better. These songs start to feel like love letters. I should tell her now what I ever. It is what it is. Is it okay? 